Good day everyone! I am Sir Robbie, and together, we will learn the word of the future robotics. Did you know that here in Educational Technology Unit, robotics is a priority to make every Filipino learners and teachers competent and meet the demands of the future global scene? Where in teachers, students, and parents who wanted to learn robotics is just a click away for free. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field which integrates computer science and engineering. It involves design, construction, operation, and use of robots to assist human activities. Are you ready for this transformation? Soon in ICTS Educational Technology Unit, come and join us and love the future para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong ito kalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Lamela for Senior High School Entrepreneurship. Good morning, young entrepreneurs. Welcome to Itulai, your free online tutorial platform facilitated by excellent and inspiring educators to guide you to another level of learning experience. This online tutorial will also help your parents to guide your studies right at the comfort of your homes. Good morning to all schools division office from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. To all our parents, learners, and teachers, it is our first week of hashtag Itulay and Entrep Learnings. So get ready to explore and discover business opportunity in entrepreneurship. With me is my mentee from SDO Palawan, Coron Schools of Fisheries, Shooter Mel, to give you the lesson material and discuss the topic for the whole first week. Kaya sabi ng EdTech, huwag gawing komplikado ang pagkatuto, itulay natin to. Shooter Mel, mag-entrap na tayo! Magandang yes, umaga. Mag Yes, magandang umaga. Maraming maraming salamat, Shooter Wax, sa isang very energetic na pagpapakilala sa akin. Muli po, ako po si Tutor Mel na nagmula po sa SDO Palawan. Ayan, kumusta po kayo, Tutor Wax? Well, uh, meron tayong uh, trangkaso but uh, the show must go on because we want to help our learners no, na makakot up sa ating subject na entrepreneurship for this week. Kaya guys, no, lahat po ng ating mga young entrepreneurs, kung gusto po ninyo magkaroon ng isang successful na entrepreneurship career, Tutok lamang po dito sa itulay at kayo po'y aming tutulungan na maitulay po natin ang ating mga learnings for our lesson. Kaya Tama take it away, uh, take, it, take it away, Tutor Mel, because I know you have a lot of learnings na ibibigay sa ating mga senior high school sa subject ng entrepreneurship. Kaya guys, get your modules, get your pen, at sabay-sabay natin aralin at matutunan ang mga lesson natin for this week sa subject na entrepreneurship. Okay, Tutor Mel. Yes, tamang-tama, Tutor Wax. Ayan po, welcome po muli sa ating DepEd Itulay, our online tutorial platform. At ngayon po, tayo po ay gagamit ng module na provided po ng ating Department of Education. Marami pong salamat sa lahat po ng writers at editors po ng modules po na ito. Ayan, marami po tayong manunood ngayon, Tutor Wax. No? 
Ang ating pong topic ay Entrepreneurs Quarter 1, Week 1, Introduction to Entrepreneurs. Okay, ayan po. Shout out po sa mga manunood natin ngayon na nanonood mula sa iba't ibang lugar ng ating bansa. Ayan, mula Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Ayan, watching daw po from Sambales. Ang dami po. Watching from Kayabaw. Ayan. So, ngayon, let's start. So, bago tayo magsimula, ano nga ba ang dapat nating matutunan pagdating sa entrepreneurship? Okay. So, entrepreneurship is encouraged by economy not to because it can provide a lot of opportunities for the unemployed people. It increases per capita income, provides standard of living, improves the standard of living, and increases individual savings. Provides revenue to the government in, in the forms of income tax, value-added tax, export duties, import duties, and balance, uh, balance regional development. So ito po ang mga bagay na matututunan po natin dito po sa entrepreneurship. Yan, alam ko na excited at handa na ang ating mga senior high school students. Ayan, pa-comment nga po ng heart sa ating comment section kung kayo po ay handang-handa na at excited na matuto dito po sa ating online tutorial sa subject na entrepreneurship. Okay, ayan. So shout out daw po from SDO Kaloocan, si Sir Ray, uh, si Chuty Rainier. Ayan, si Rainier, shout out daw po. Good morning din po. Pa-shoutout din po kay Sir kay Neil Edward at siya po ay nanonood from SDO Pampanga. Okay, sige, marami na pong nag-heart-heart sa atin pong comment section. Marami pong salamat. Ayan, mga manonood natin mula sa iba't ibang paaralan sa ating bansa. Let's continue. So, Ano nga po ba ang ating objectives o ating mga pag-aaralan ngayong umagang ito? Yan. So at the end of our tutorial, you're expected to, number one, discuss the relevance of the course. And number two, explain the key concepts of common competencies in entrepreneurship. Okay, let's continue. Yan, ang dami na po nag-heart. Salamat po sa inyong mga comments at sa patuloy na pagsubaybay dito po sa ating online tutorial platform. Okay, let's continue. So for now, let let me know how much do you have already know about entrepreneurship. Okay, so let's have an activity. So let's read the instruction. We uh, read the statements carefully, then write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is not correct. Ayan. So, handa na ba kayo na sa ating unang activity for this morning? Okay, let's continue. So, we have number one statement. An entrepreneur is a risk taker. Ayan. Ano kaya ito ang sagot dito? Ang entrepreneur daw ba ay isang risk taker? Okay, sige. Ano po ang sagot natin? True ba ito o false? Sige po. Let's let's see your answers. Just type it in our comment section. Ayan. So, meron po tayong mga nanonood na mga ABM students. Ayan. Hello po kay Cindy. Good morning. Ayan. May sagot na po sila. True daw po. Sabi ni RJ. Tama kaya si RJ? Tignan po natin. Tama si RJ. Ang sagot natin ay true. An entrepreneur is a risk taker person. Okay, very good students. Napakahusa. Let's continue. Number two statement natin. Entrepreneurship will lead to the creation of organization. Ito daw pa ay nag-lead sa paggawa ng mga bagong businesses. Let's see your answer sa ating Statement number two. Ayan, sige po. Sagot-sagot na po. It's just a click away for free. Okay, so yan. Ang tamang sagot po natin ay true. Very good. True ulit. Number two, answer nila. Let's continue with our statement number three. Number three na. 
Okay, coward people will become successful entrepreneurs. Ano kaya ito? Mga cowards, people daw po ba ay magiging successful entrepreneurs? Okay, what's your answer? Is this true or false? Is the statement true or false? Sagot-sagot po tayo. Ayan, ang dami na pong nagsagot. Sumagot po sila ng false. Ayun, tama po. So, ang sagot po natin sa number three ay false. Tama. So, coward people will never become an entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs. Okay. So, next natin, statement number four. So, entrepreneurs are inno innovative. Innovative nga ba ang ating mga entrepreneur? Yes, ang sagot po nila ay true. Tama po. Ayan. Okay. So, ang dami po nilang sagot. No? Let's continue with our statement number five. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs means to undertake. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito sa ating statement number five? Ayan, sabi ni Mira, true daw po, true. Sabi ni Edith, true din. Let's see. Tama ang inyong mga sagot, mga stuti. Ang ating sagot sa number five ay entrepreneurs means to undertake. At ngayon, malalaman natin dahil ang inyong mga sagot ay tama at mas maintindihan pa natin bakit nga ba ito ang ating mga nasagot dito sa ating unang activity. Handa na ba kayo? Ayan. Shoutout daw po, grade 12 ICT, si Sola Yes Santos watching. Yan, nanonood daw po siya from uh, Kabalan National High School. Hello po sa mga taga-Kabalan National High School. At syempre, tayo po ngayon ay magsisimula na sa ating discussion. Okay, let's first discuss the relevance of entrepreneurship to an organization. Ano po ba ang importante ng entrepreneurship sa isang organization? Ano po ba ang nako-contribute nito? Okay, we have identified four relevance. Number one, development of managerial capability. So this, mean, this means that one of the benefits an entrepreneur gets is to develop his or her managerial skills. So when we say managerial skills, it refers to the managerial position. So kapag ka naging entrepreneur ka, meron ka ng tinatawag natin na managerial skills. Okay, let's continue with number two relevance. Creation of organization. In our question kanina, di ba? Which means the, that because of entrepreneurship, many organization will exist. Yes, because they're going to create, establish new businesses where they're going to hire people to be part of their organization. Okay, nakakasunod pa rin po ba? Sabi, good morning daw po from Coron School of Fisheries. Watching po. Yan. Okay, let's continue with number three, relevance of entrepreneurship to an organization. Improving standard of living. This means that entrepreneurship can lift up the economic status of an individual. By how siguro? By giving job and providing compensation or salary to the employment where they can use in their daily living. Ayan. At number four, the last but not the least, the relevance of entrepreneurship to an organization means of economic development. So this means that not only the life of the entrepreneur is improved, but also the society where the business is located. By how? By paying their taxes. Diba? Sabi nga natin kanina, they're paying their income tax and of course, their business tax where taxes are being used by the government to fund the different projects that they, ha they have. Okay, ayan po ang mga relevance ng entrepreneurs sa ating, and sa ating mga organization. And now let's continue with the concepts of Concepts of entrepreneurship. Okay, so ano nga po ba? Saan nga po ba nang galing ang salitang entrepreneur or entrepreneurship? Para mas maintindihan po natin, the word entrepreneur was derived from the French verb entreprendre. 
Okay, which means to undertake. This is pinpointing those who undertake the risk of enterprise. So, yeah, the risk of enterprise. When we say risk, they are willing na sumugal sa isang business. And of course, they're not doing it just for nothing but because for profit. So, sabi dyan, enterprise is created by an entrepreneur and the process is called entrepreneurship. So remember, a person who undertake is what we call entrepreneur and the process is entrepreneurship. Okay, and another concept, entrepreneurs are innovators. When you say innovators, they are uh, introducing something new to the market. They are willing to take the risk and generate unique ideas that can provide profitable solution to the needs of the market and the society. So, sabi ko kaina, di ba? They are doing it because they are uh, something for profitability and also to help the community by providing new knowledge, new products, and new services to the community. Ayan, good morning po. Princess May Sales, ABM Grade 11 from Malabon National High School. Hello po. Good morning sa ating mga taga Malabonians. And shout out din po kay Ma'am Jubel Impleo watching from Filipino Department sa Coron School of Fisheries. Okay. Ayan. At tayo po ay magpatuloy. So we already know the relevance of entrepreneurship to an organization. And we discussed already the concepts of entrepreneurship. Now, let's go to the factors affecting entrepreneurship. Ano po ba ang mga factors na nakaka-apekto sa ating business or sa entrepreneurship? We have identified two factors affecting the entrepreneurship. Number one, we have personality factors, which includes letter A, initiative. So, initiative, doing things before, even before Told. Ibig sabihin, ginagawa na natin yung mga bagay bago pa tayo sabihan. So we have our initiative. Okay. Next, proactive, which means he can classify opportunity and size it. Diba? So proactive, lahat nakikita natin, it's an opportunity for business and we classified it and how to use the particular business or idea. Another factor we have... Problem solver. Yan, problem solver ba tayo? Which means he can retain good relationship with other people. Yon, no? Kaya niya makimingkel. Kaya niya magkaroon ng good relationship sa ibang mga tao. Okay, another factor affecting entrepreneurship is what we call perseverance. So meaning he will pursue things to get done regardless of challenges. He never give up. Diba? Although there's a lot of challenges, especially in our current situation in pandemic. No? Napakatindi ng pandemic. But still, as an entrepreneur, you are going to persevere. You're not going to give up and you're going to do your best for you to be able to, to succeed in the field of your business. Ayan, marami po tayong nanonood mula pa sa iba't ibang lugar. Okay, watching daw po sila. Okay, let's continue. Okay, factors affecting entrepreneur, uh, we have number, letter E, persuasion. Okay, persuasion, that means that can entice people to buy, buy even if they don't want to. Yan, diba? Persuasion, meaning you have the ability to persuade your consumer, your customer to purchase or buy your product. And of course, a planner, he makes plans before doing things and does not fail to monitor it. Kung monitor it. Diba? Sabi nga, plan without monitoring and implementation that is useless. So, ano sa, dapat we are a planner. Okay? Next natin, this is the last, is risk taker, which means that he is willing to gamble. Diba? Gamble, but will calculate it first. Willing siyang sumugal, pero kinakalculate niya yung mga risk, hindi siya basta-basta sumusugal. Kasi in entrepreneurship, in business world, we have a phrase that the higher the risk, the higher the return. Okay, let's continue with the second factor affecting entrepreneurship. 
Number two is what we call the environmental factors. Ayan, si Noel po watching from New Cal Cabalan Senior High School, Grade 12 ICT. Hello po dyan sa inyo, Noel. Okay, so environmental factors which includes political, climate, legal system, economic, and social condition and market situation. So ito yung mga bagay na nakakaapekto sa ating entrepreneurship. Sino ba ang gumagawa ng entrepreneurship? Ang ating entre entrepreneurs. Kaya meron tayong personality factors. At pangalawa, environmental factors. And now, let's go with the common competencies of entrepreneurship. So when we say common competencies, this must be the common characteristics that an entrepreneur must possess in doing his or her venture. Okay, let's start. Number one, he or she must be decisive. An entrepreneur must be firm in making decisions. So when he make or he when she make decision, he must be firm with that. Okay, number two, he, a communicator, an entrepreneur, must have a convincing power. Communicate, diba? He, he must a convincing power in presenting something to his or her clients or customers. Ayan, watching daw po from SDO, Kabanatuan, si Jerick. Ayan, hello Jerick, good morning and good day po watching from City. Uh, Isabella City, si Mary Ann. Ayan. And let's continue. So, common competencies. We have leader. An entrepreneur must have the charisma to be obeyed by his employees. Of course, di ba? Kailangan sundin. An entrepreneur must be a leader. Okay? Number four. So, we have opportunity seeker. An entrepreneur must have the ability to be the first to see the business chances. Diba? So kapag nakita natin in the different situation, an entrepreneur has an opportunity seeker talent. Diba? The ability na nakita niya kung ano ba ang possible na pwedeng maging business in that particular aspect or situation. Example na lang natin dito, in pandemic, diba? nung una, requirements talaga ang pagsuot ng face mask at ngayon so maraming mga mananahi na talagang nagtahi ng face mask para ibenta, di ba? They see the opportunity in that situation. Okay, next number five, proactive. An entrepreneur, entrepreneur must have the ability to be first to see business chances. So proactive, ibig sabihin active sila, no? And Number six, risk taker. An entrepreneur, entrepreneur must has the courage to pursue business ideas. Of course, they're going to finance the business. They're going to start the business. That's why it's called risk taker. And number seven, seven com common competencies of an entrepreneur is innovative. An entrepreneur has big business idea and he does not stop improving the, and thinking a new worldwide idea for his business. Hindi nag-stop, di ba? Sabi ka tulad din sa atin sa learning. Yun yung sa learning natin. Learning is a continuous process. Ganon din sa business. Dapat we need to provide something new. We need to, to give something new to our consumers or customers. Ayan, si Noel. Nagtatag ng kanyang mga classmates. Hello po. Thank you, Noel. Yan. Okay. And now we already discussed the relevance of entrepreneurs in an organization. We already discussed the common competencies of entrepreneurship and the concepts of entrepreneurship. Now we're going to test what you have learned. I know every one of you Listen carefully and attentively in our discussion this morning. Nandyan pa ba kayo? Sige nga, pa-comment nga ng heart sa ating comment section kung kayo ay nandyan pa rin ngayon at nakikinig sa atin. Sige, ayan. Okay, ang daming nag-comment ng heart. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay, at ngayon naman, let's continue and 
Let's see what you have learned. Okay. Ayan, si Cindy po, Hazel, ay nag-comment ng heart niya. Maraming salamat. Let's see what you have learned by answering or providing the blanks in the section. So, I, I will read. So, blank are people who take the risk. They are innovators and contributors to the development of blank. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito sa ating unang blank? Blank are people who take the risk. Ayan, sige. Hintay natin ang kanilang mga sagot. Hi, Sha. Hi, Mary Ann. Hello. Hi, Allen. Ano po kaya ang ating sagot dito sa ating unang blank? Ayan. Very good. Sabi ni Sherwin, entrepreneur. Sabi ni Ophelia, entrepreneur. Sabi ni Mira, entrepreneur. Sabi ni Shari, Entrepreneur, sabi ni Mark Edward, entrepreneur. Ang gagaling naman ng ating mga tutee at listener ngayong umagang ito. Tama ang inyong sagot. Entrepreneurs are people who take the risk and they are innovators and contributor to the blank. Ano naman po ang sagot natin dito sa ating pangalawang blank? To the development of the blank. Sige. John Paul, tama, entrepreneur. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito sa ating pangalawang blank? Comment your answer in our comment section. Hello, Yanyan. Yan, yan. Hello, good morning. Ayan, so ano po ang sagot natin? Sige, hintay natin ang kailang mga sagot. Economy, sabi ni Ophelia. Very good, sabi ni Jeric. Economy din. Let's see. Very good answer. Ang huhusay, ang gagaling. Very good kayong lahat. Alam ko na talagang nakinig kayo sa ating discussion ngayong umaga. Okay, so labasahin natin muli. An uh, uh, entrepreneur are people who take the risk. They are innovators and contributors to the development of our economy. Ang gagaling ng ating mga duty at manonood. Ayan. So let's continue. Pa tignan pa natin kung mas naintindihan pa natin ang ating discussion ngayong umaga sa pagsagot ng ating assessment. Alam ko na handang-handa na kayo at basahin ko ang ating direction. Now that you have all that you are finished accomplishing the module, let us check what you have learned. Answer the question given below by encircling the letter of the correct answer. So you just type the letter or the correct answer in our comment section. Ayan. Ayan. Hello po, CJ. Watching from si CJ po. Ay, ayan. So, maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. Let's continue sa ating pagsagot sa ating assessment. Number one, entrepreneur means... Ayan, A, risk taker, B, to undertake, C, to improve standard of living, D, to... Okay, ang tamang sagot dito ay to undertake. Very good. Okay, let's continue with question number two. It is a personality factor that means convincing customer to buy product. Ano kaya ang sagot natin? Proactive ba? Persuasion, self-confidence, or risk taker? Ayan, ang sagot po natin dito sa number two ay tamang yung mga sagot. Letter B, persuasion. Napakahusay ng ating mga duty. Let's go to number three question. Personality factors which uh, doing things even before being told. Ayan, so ang sagot natin dito ay initiative tama initiative and question number four which of the following choices is not part of the environment factors okay ano kaya dyan? political with weather condition climate or family background okay number four ang sagot natin i letter d family background and last which of the following is not true an entrepreneur entrepreneur creates organization entrepreneurs improve the life of the entrepreneur only Entrepreneurs improves the economy. Letter D, none of 
the choices. So the answer is letter B. Entrepreneurs improves the life of the entrepreneurs alone. So itong hindi tama. Ayan, very good kayo at lahat kayo ay nakakuha ng ilan ba ang inyong score? Five. Very good ang uusay ng ating mga tuti nila Mira Allen. Ayan, muli po. Sama-sama niyo po kaming samahan at subaybayan sa ating pong Business Friday 11 to 11.30 Entrepreneurship. Ako muli ang inyong tutor, Mel, mula sa SDO Palawan na nagsasabing kaalaman sa pagninigoso ating pagyamanin. Hashtag, itulay ang entrepreneurship. Kasama ko po si Tutor Wax mula sa SDO Olongapo City. Ayan! Maraming marami pong salamat at muli magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na Business Friday, 11 to 11.30 a.m. Paalam mga tsuti at sa lahat ng ating manonood. Salamat po. Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!